Welcome to this video. In this video, we will create a resource inside the Azure portal. We will follow these steps. We will create the Terraform project. We will initialize the Terraform. We will create a Terraform execution plan and then apply a Terraform execution plan. Let's create a Terraform project first. You can use the Visual Studio code. I have the Visual Studio code. In the Visual Studio code, you can add the extension for the Terraform. Type the Terraform here. This will give the list of the extension. I have added this extension. And as well as I have the Visual Studio code extension. These are very popular extension for the Terraform. I have created the four different files of the Terraform. Terraform extension is the TF. Uh, so let me just let me give some brief about this syntax. So how we can put the comments? We can use the hash. We can use the double slash to put the comments. As well as we can use forward slash, asterisk, and put the multiple lines. For multiple lines, we can use this comments. If you type the resource, what resource you are going to build, type the resource, press enter. That will give the list of the resources. Whatever you want to create, you can create from here. A lot of resource type you can see here. You can select whatever you want to create. Suppose you want to create the backup protected virtual machine. You can select this one. You can give the name. And you can provide the configuration. But let me proceed to create the resource group. I am providing the dynamic pet name. This will give me the pet name. And prefix. I want to open the prefix. This prefix coming from the variables. You can see variable files I have. We can define multiple variables in the variable files. So this is the prefix. So, so I am using this variable. In this variable value is the RG. Whatever resource group we will create. This prefix would be added. And one more variable you can see resource group location. East US is the location default value. So if you see, I'm creating the random pet name and this, and I'm passing this name here. You can see name.id. This will give the name of the group and the location. So that is the syntax where we are creating the resource group. Under this location is the name of whatever the pet name will be from this random from this resource and next file is the variable I have showed you one is the provided so this providers is coming from where so that is the syntax to use the provider so I am using the provider Azure so this is the Terraform this is the this is the common syntax for all the providers here only we change the provider name and version what is the version of this provider when we create this syntax to pass the required features, required parameters. So how the Terraform would be authenticated? You can pass here. If you see my if you see my previous video, I have I have showed you how we can how the Terraform can be authenticated to create the resources inside the Azure. If you see the previous video we created this environment variable you can copy all this variable and you can pass here but currently I don't require for this variable because I have already added this variable inside the base file so if you see my previous video here I added this variable inside the base file that was the command I used into the Azure account. So if you read this base file, you can see all this environment variable inside the base file. So we no need to add this variable inside again here. Okay, so one is the provider file, 
then one is the output file whatever the resource group name we can print okay so these are the files i have added all these files in, inside the directory now we will initialize the terraform actually we downloads that azure models required to manage your resources so this is the command terraform init so if i run this command let me run this command terraform init once i run this command you can see the terraform has been successfully initialized actually it downloads the provider plugin so if you see here you can see file inside the terraform you can see the exe and we have the file okay this is the configuration file okay so this having the provider name version and hashes so these are the keys actually these are the part of the integration with the terraform now create a terraform execution plan now we need to create the execution plan we can use the terraform plan only but if you want to write execution plan into some output file you can define the output you can define out and give the name of the file main.tf plan <clears throat> this command creates an execution plan which lets you preview the changes that terraform plans to make to your infrastructure i will run this command if i go here let me run this command okay so this is the command terraform plan out main tf plan if i press enter this will create the tf plan let's wait for some time okay so save the plan to main dot tf plan so why we need to create the tf plan suppose in the future if you want to use the same plan you can utilize this one but before going to the tf before going to apply i can show this file this that has been created inside the code so this is the file you cannot read it that is the encrypted format but that is the that is the plan that you have been created using this plan using the terraform plan command now i can use this command terraform apply this is the next command apply terraform execution plan now we will use this command terraform apply main dot tf plan apply a terraform execution plan okay so i will run this command even one one more thing i want to explain you uh, you no need to run the terraform plan if you are sure but this why this is required if you want to if you want to save the plan into some output file and if you want to preview the if you want to review what are the changes you are going to implement so this command give the preview now let's run this command terraform apply main dot tf plan so let me run this command terraform apply tf plan i press the enter let's wait it's creating cre creation complete after 0 second so in every 10 second it will write but okay but now that is completed within the 10 second so you can see apply complete resource added to added and as i mentioned about the output file so in the output file is it's showing the resource group name that has been created so this is the resource group name that has been created so let's go to the azure portal inside the resources group uh, yes so we have successfully created the resource resources group using the random pet name then if you go inside the directory you can see the new file terraform tf state tf state file contains the information about the provision infrastructure which terraform manages whenever we change the configuration file it automatically determined 
which part of the configuration is already created and which need to be changed with help of state files so if you want to see this file you can see let me open so all so this is the information you can see whatever the resources has been created so here you can see the random created name and rg is the appended and all the details whatever the resources you have been created you can see the details here if you if you want to verify the results you can use this command as at group show and name and give the resources name so this is the group name that we have so, sorry we had created this group not this one uh, this is the group name so let me take this name and put me in this command so I, I just want to verify here you can run this command so it will show the details of the resource that you have created name id location properties you can see all this thing we didn't prioritize even we can uh, add some more attributes to the configuration file now if you want to delete the resource so what you will do you need to create the plan again the important thing here you we are using the plan command if you want to update something if you want to create or if you want to delete we will use terraform plan command here we can pass the parameter destroy and what we need to destroy you can mention into the output file if you want this will create the plan let me run this command destroy out main destroy plan run this command this will give the resource detail what you can destroy so this plan has been created now again you can use the same command terraform apply so this is the common command using this command you can do you can create you can update you can delete i copy this command and i can run here terraform apply and here you can see this resource group name would be deleted from the cloud so let's wait for some time now you can see apply complete resources 0 added 0 to destroy so you can see the number 2 while number 2 we created one random pet name and one resource group with the random pet name so we use this command run terraform apply this is the command name to apply the addiction plan we use this command and resource now suppose if you want to update something again you can utilize the same command terraform plan and terraform apply to update something so that was the initial video how we can create the resource but definitely i will bring some more video for you where you can see how the terraform can be helpful in different different infrastructure kind of operation into the azure that's all on this video i will see you soon in the next video till then happy learning